Hola, soy tía. I don't know Spanish. Hi, how are y'all? Guess what we got today? Y'all know where we went? Do you know where we're going? I tried to fit the theme today. I probably did a horrible job. But I feel like the people in this place don't do much as far as they make it. Like it's all about natural beauty. You know what I'm saying? So I tried to do a little something, something. You know, this is all I had in my closet. Do you know where we go? We're going to Mexico! Woo! All right, so I got an array of snacks today. And this is going to be a two-part series because I kind of went crazy. I was looking at people's baskets as I was shopping. And I found a few things that I think y'all might like to see. So this is going to be two parts. I'm going to do this part, which I feel like is the more popular of the lump of snacks that I got. And then the other one is just, I had 12 things. And I was like, let's do 66 because I'm not going to eat all this right now and be sick or try to anyway. Um, but today we're mixing it up. I got a cup of milk. Now this is oat milk because I really like to some time. So this is oat milk today. And I'm ready to really try a lot of these because I see a lot of these often in like corn stores and grocery stores and I tried some of them but I haven't tried what I see here today so if I'm eating any of these wrong please leave it in the comments if you have any favorites that I probably should have grabbed please leave it in the comments let me know don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and let's get to it so the first one we're gonna do I'm going to do all the sweet because I got some savory and I got some sweet, but I want to get the sweet out of the way. And I think I'm going to go with these spoons. These spoons. I see these spoons everywhere that I go. Nah. And they are called El Chilar. Cucharzo, cucharazo, cucharazo. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> and it's basically tamarind spoons, peppers, snacks, spices, and herbs. The finest quality products. Tamarind, yam, sugar, ground, red hot peppers, salt. There's no directions on here. Somebody mentioned, they were like, maybe you're supposed to put these in something. I don't know what that something is, but I'm just going to put it in my mouth to see how it tastes. Because I see them everywhere, and I've always been curious about them. So, we're going to see. Not a fragrance right away. So, it's two spoons. Um, and I guess you just detach one. It's like a lollipop. But I'm excited. Everything, it seems like tamarind is really big in Mexico. Tamarind is everywhere. So, let's see. Let's see if I can see that. The lipstick. Mm. I like it. <laughs> I have a little, a little softness, a little bit, um, in the back end. 
the tamarind is not super sweet, which is really good because tamarind can be so sour and so sweet. And this is not that. The chili is not too spicy. If you're not a fan of spicy, might not be for you, but I don't think it's that spicy. Now, also, it could be how freaking quickly I just pulled it off the spoon. But that was good. What I'm about this game probably is. I will give it a seven and a half out of ten. And I think they were bomb. And I would recommend them. Um, if you've never tried them and you see them in the store, pick them up and give them a try. So we're going to go to the next snack. So this next snack, this is by the same brand. And it's called Poparindo. Poparindo. Tamarind sticks. Can y'all say that better than me? Poparindo. Sugar, tamarind, corn, corn syrup, mm -hmm. vital salt, citric acid, ground chilies. I like that the ingredients are so simple. Like, I can read these ingredients. Which makes me hopeful. They feel about the same texture as the spoons. It's, it has a lot of give in it. It's kind of like fruit leather. That's what it feels like in the inside. Like fruit leather. I don't really smell the smell of these. I smell like chili and like pickle. That's what I'm getting. It's double wrapped in the inside kind of. Mm. This one is much sweeter. I do get a small faint pickle taste in the background. Mm, it's more like granulated sugar texture. As far as comparison, I just think of it as like granulated sugar and tamarind. Because tamarind, tamarind already has that like granulated like sugar consistency. Uh, Show you what it looks like. That's the whole thing. Besides the two I like these. I think it's very good. Honestly, I like the spoons better. Then this one, but also I can't really stop eating it. Mm -hmm. Alright now. Alright now, Mexico. Mexico, Mexico. We're two for two. I'm going to also give this a 7, just a 7 flat. Would I buy them again? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Most likely, no. But I wouldn't be opposed if somebody was like, hey, you want one of these? I'd be like, yeah, sure. I love it. So, let's go on to the next one. Palette cleanser, yes, because we're going into, we're, we're walking away from tamarind right now. And we're going to go into some chocolate. So, let's get it. For this next snack, Delice. <laughs> Delice. Delice. Delice also. Delice. I think it's what it says. It's by Kinder. And it looks like this. It looks like one of those chocolate cakes, like Little Debbie or something, or a Tasty Cakes or something like that we made. 
post this probably. Ooh, it has like an easy open tab right here. You guys see that? Alright. Cause that definitely tastes like or uh, definitely <laughs> it definitely smells like oh man. It smells like something out of the processed cakes section in the store. Uh-oh, I got some on my nose. <laughs> it just smells so good. And it's very chocolatey. That's how it looks when it's open. The back looks a little weird. But the front. Woo! Alright, I'm gonna take a big bite too because I really think it's gonna be good. Like I like the little chocolate cupcakes with the filling in the middle and the little white swirl on top. And that's what is that's the energy it's giving right now. So let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Cause it's kind of like the dough is not normal. <clears throat> like the cake part. Mm, it's very spongy. It's very spongy in the inside, but it's also like like coconut cake consistency without the coconut flavor. Yeah. The chocolate is very nice. And the inside is not white as white as the picture. I thought it was gonna be like white, but it's like brown. You see that? Almost like caramel or like peanut butter color. Mmm. It's a lot of sugar in it because you're making my cake. Yeah, you see that? I should not eat the whole thing. What? <laughs> Can I really give it a bad review? Like honestly. <laughs> Can I really give it a bad review? Uh, it was definitely very sweet because it made my teeth hurt. And with all the sweet things I've eaten, that's the first. Um, do I regret eating the whole thing? Absolutely. Would I buy it again? If that was all, if I really wanted some chocolate and that was all I could get, yes. Am I giving it a high score? I'll give it an eight. <laughs> but if you're a diabetic, don't get it. Because it's not going to get better. But I give it an 8. And I will eat it again. Let's go on to the next snack. I've been seeing this a lot lately. This is Susie. Say hi. Susie. If I'm not mistaken, I, didn't, I don't do any research before I do these videos. I just jump right into it because I really want to taste them and try it. And I'm just sharing my experience with y'all. Because if I wasn't doing this, I would still be like getting these and trying them. This just, you know, helps other people who want to try things that can't or don't have time or don't know what to get. Like... Groceries is high. A lot of people don't have the means to just buy snacks all the time. And, you know, if they're going to buy some snacks, they want something that they know they're going to like, that they know is going to be good. And that's where I come in. So I'm going to try it for y'all and let you know if it's good or not. And I didn't know what this was at first. Um, and then I read it. 
and realized it was wafers. And I do not like wafers. It is rare for me to eat wafers after really absolutely craving them. Um, I recently got some wafers not too long ago. They were dosa de leche kind. And I was just craving dosa de leche. And I wanted to see if that was going to help my craving. And it did not. I was very disappointed. Did I eat the whole thing? Yes, because I didn't want to feel like I was wasting my money. Um, but I thought this was going to be like a candy bar. Like a Snickers or something. And I read the front and it said wafer. So we're going to see if I do not like them. They will be going to my mom's house. This, the smell of wafer, wafers is what puts me off. I do not like the smell. However, these don't smell like that. Let me, let me stop being like that. Let me open it up. There's two, yeah, there's two long wafers in here. Two long wafers in here. And I don't want to eat a whole one. I'm just going to break some off. It doesn't smell like wafers usually smell. It kind of smell like the cakes that I get from Publix. <laughs> like they chocolate cakes. It's like chocolate icing. That's what it smells like. The flavor is not bad. It kind of tastes like Cocoa Puffs. Like Cocoa Puffs cereal. But that initial first taste of wafers is just not good. <laughs> That's the, it's the, the wafer on the outside is what I don't like. But the inside is fabulous. If you like wafers, I would recommend that because it doesn't taste like the everyday wafers that we normally eat here. But for my personal taste and what I do and do not like, I would give it a I give it a four and a half. <laughs> I wanna give it a five, but I feel like that's just too generous because I don't like them. I think it's a good flavor, but it's just not for me. So I'm gonna give it a four and a half. And we're going to move on. All right. The last one we're going to try is a bimbo snack. I've had bimbos a lot. And I've never seen this. Doraditas. Doraditas. And it is a crispy puff pastry. Pan dulce de... Oh, okay. Y'all can read it right there. You know what it says. But I'm ready to get into it because I really don't know what to expect. Wheat flour, water, sugar, vegetable shortening. Mm. A bunch of filler ingredients. Servings, three servings per container. Alright. Oh. Mmm. It smells like pie crust. It smells like it smells like pie crust without the pie. Ooh. It looks like a cracker on the back. You see, you can divide it. And you can break it into little sections. Mm. It's exactly what it says it is. It's a crispy puff pastry. 
that's been baked in a pan with the simple syrup glaze on top. Mmm. I would definitely eat this for breakfast. Mmm. And if you're creative, get you some like apple filling. Like apple pie filling, put it on top. Have it with your coffee. That's so good. It's very simple. A little bit of sweet. A lot of crunch. I'm giving it a nine. Nine. Mm. Nine all day. Thumbs up. Nine all day. All right, kids. <laughs> For the last and final snack. I also see these everywhere, and it's called Sabrita, Sabritas. Mm. I see some tomatoes, is that what the word is? Tomato chips, and I'm ready to get into it, I look kind of excited. Uh, secret to salute. I'm ready. Um, and it smells like tomatoes. <laughs> it smells like tomatoes. Mm. Lays, red lays. Wow. You know, it says it's tomato flavor, but this is a lot of flavor for a tomato. Mmm. Mmm. I wish I had a big old sandwich to eat these with. Mmm. Subway. Yeah, I'm gonna get y'all some of these. This is a perfect pairing with a sandwich. Mmm. I never thought that potato chips, tomato flavored potato chips would be this good. Mmm. Well, I like these a lot. I will definitely get these again if I see them. Mmm. And I will be giving those a nine and a half out of ten. Get some of those if you've never tried them. And if you have, you know what I'm talking about. You know how good they are. That was amazing, y'all. Please like, subscribe, share this video with everybody you know. People from Mexico, people from America, people from everywhere. Ask them what their favorite snacks are, where they're from. Because you might get turned on to something you've never had before that you can get here that's a decent price. And a lot of these things, some of these snacks were made with simple ingredients. So they don't have a laundry list of ingredients and chemicals in them. Some of them aren't that bad for you. You should definitely be adventurous with your taste buds and try what's out there, see what's out there. You'd be surprised. New favorite. <laughs> this is my new favorite. And these, wherever I see these, I will be getting them again. Just to have some on hand because I really want to try these with like pie filling as like dips or like some cream cheese and fruit. The possibilities you got to be creative and adventurous. This 2023 
<laughs> it's 2023. Be adventurous. It's a new year. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and come back for part two of our trip to Mexico. Because I had a good time. And these snacks were very good. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm about to go eat some tacos for dinner. I'll see y'all later. Bye.